And welcome back. Well, everybody thinks about summer reading and the books that you'll see people reading at the airport, on a bus, or soon at the beach. We hope. <laughs> but the people who make those summer reads popular are the people who are reading those books right now in the spring. And here with some of the best books from spring so far is The Birthday Girl. It was her birthday on Sunday. Sunday. Carol Barrelman. Okay. She's the author of six books. She's an English professor at Alverno, and she's a contributor to the Milwaukee Journal Sun. Oh, happy birthday. Thank yeah. you so much. You have a great day. I saw your Facebook yes. picture. You had, it looked like three or four little cakes in front of you. I decided not to go with birthday cake and just go with um, French pastries. And then I could have, I could order Smart. like six and have a taste of all of them. Well, and you went to one of my favorite places. In fact, I ran into you there in yes. Wauwatosa. Yes, yes. Rock yeah. Baby. Yeah, yes. I love it. Yes, it's a great place. No, I loved it. It was a great birthday. It's the first time every few years my birthday's on Easter. So I feel like I really should be sort of, you know, start myself afresh for the next year. <laughs> a little I think rebirth. That's great. A little yeah. rebirth I love is it. good. Uh -huh. It's good. Yeah, yeah. No, I had a good time. I had a good time. I drank regular alcohol, though, no powdered alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I drank regular I don't know alcohol. I'm going to be into that. <laughs> but, okay. Well, you've got a list of books that we should be reading right now because they're going to yes. be super popular come summer, including the first one, The Intern's Handbook. <laughs> this is hilarious. This book is. All of our interns should listen up, <laughs> yes. right? Well, I don't know. If you read this book, you might want to go get your own coffee the next day <laughs> because this is a book about um, a group of uh, it's a company called HR and all the interns are assassins <laughs> and they are all placed in companies if the company owner deserves to be assassinated so it's nonfiction it's, right? yeah real it's nonfiction <laughs> it's a handbook and uh, really what's really funny about this book is it's I thought it was like Dexter crossed with the office <laughs> oh, I love that. that's great so it's that kind of humor it's dark and you know there's so there's violence in it, but it's really funny in mm -hmm. the sense that you you know the people that are getting murdered kind of deserve their mur be, to be murdered. If I can say that, it's fiction, you know. So, but anyway, it's a great they book. Deserve to be murdered. So it's like Danielle. <laughs> they deserve their pink slip. <laughs> right. So Danielle, our intern, who's taking pictures right yeah. now, she could off Tiffany, and yeah. then she'd be able Let's to follow. Who yes, would she there you go. She'd host Tiffany. the show with me. Who yeah. would you yeah. pick? First. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. Tiffany. Yeah. Order. <laughs> Good answer, Danielle. Alphabetical. I mean, how more PC could she get? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the book has that tone to it. It's told in first person, and it moves so fast. I think that it's good. You'd be really smart reader if you could say to people, "You have to read this this summer. This will be the beach okay. book that'll go fast." Your next book, Case Book, by a woman named Mona Simpson. I'm not sure what's more interesting, her book or her actual story. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah. Tell tell both if you would. Well, this this is a book that's told from the perspective of a, a young boy, Miles, and he, he likes to spy on people. So he spies on his family, and, and it's his impressions of his life, and it goes all the way through to him being a young adult and, his, and all the things that happen. It's really a sweet, sweet book. Mona Simpson was born in Green Bay. And the she, author. The author. And she moved to L.A. As a, uh, as a young child and didn't realize that her long-lost brother, who she didn't discover until her 20s, was um, Steve Jobs from Apple Computer. Computers. Can you believe that? Yeah. Wait, so this is true. This, this is, is true. the true part. For the book all is the fiction, people this is you could find out you'd be related yes. to. You hope it's Oprah like, or <laughs> it's Steve Jobs. And yeah. It's, and it turns out to be Steve Jobs. Or Bill Gates, uh, yeah. Warren Buffett, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what was really funny is she tells this great story um, uh, when she speaks the, about how people, well, she was living in this apartment in New York and they were very, very poor and they kept fantasizing that they had relatives somewhere who <laughs> were all. Were, she manifested and it. And she manifested this relative one day she came home and said to her roommates you know he's my long lost brother and they ended up having a very very close relationship huh. you know because Mona Simpson's been writing for a, quite a long time and um, she gave his eulogy to give Steve Jobs yeah. eulogy I did not funeral. know that and if you look up the eulogy it's a beautiful eulogy from a brother to a, sis, a oh. sister to a brother Oh, Lovely. So cool. Yeah, and the book is wonderful too. I highly recommend it. So again, it. the name of the book. The name of the book is Case Case Book. book. Case, Case book. book. Okay. Yep. okay yep. The setup man. You have to have a baseball book in spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one is funny and sexy, and it's kind of a little bit of a mystery, but um, it's a lot. Uh, the, it's a, uh, about a guy who is the um, the cleanup pitcher, if that's the right term for him, at mm -hmm. the end of a yeah. at the end of the game. And because he only plays one inning, he solves problems the for closer. all his team. The closer. Thank you very much. He solves problems for all of his um, teammates, um, including women problems. There's a lot of women problems with baseball teams that travel on the road. I'm sure not in our brewers. <laughs> of course. 
it's mm. not. No, no. But I love this book, and I'm a baseball fan, okay. and I thought this book was funny, and um, there's some really good sex scenes in it that, uh -huh. um, you know, really very erotic, and, but, you know, not... So perfect for the airport. Perfect for the airport for a plane ride. While you're people watching. Men and women. Shot between yeah. people there on the airplanes. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I think I need to stand up. <laughs> Okay, we're uh, pretty much out of time, okay. but The Collector of Dying Breaths. Collector of Dying Breaths is a historical romance, magical mystery, um, and it takes place in, in Italy and in Paris, and it's about a perfumer who gathers people's dying breaths because he thinks that might be the secret to immortality. Mm. Whoa, okay. What about I the know. empathy exams? What I love about this is that you say, um, you talk about people reflecting on the way, uh, on, on empathy, and the idea that it is the one emotion mm -hmm. that defines us most as humans. I think, I, I think so. that's an incredible yeah. thing to say. I think so. I, I, I just think that is. That's what makes us better than, than yeah. anything else. And um, this is a collection of essays, and I have recommended this to a lot of people, and no one has been has said, oh, that was a bummer recommendation. It's a book of nonfiction, book of her essays, and they're, they're wonderful. The first essay, very quickly is about how she gets paid to be a practice patient for doctors so she gets given a whole background mm -hmm. she has to act as someone yep. with cancer a doctor comes in and tries to diagnose her but what she's really trying to get the doctor to be is empathetic with patients yeah. and mm. so that's the whole first essay it's, it's beautifully great. written it's a, a, a really a deep read but you're not gonna you're not gonna feel that when you're reading it give her the bag this get is for bag. your books Yay! <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Love all right. it. CarolBarrelman.com is where you can find out more about Carol and all her picks for spring and summer. And right now, she's got a giveaway as well of the book we just talked about, which is The Collector of Dying Breaths, right? Yes, absolutely. You got it. Caller number 5, 414 4444 will win that book. And we'll throw in a bag, too, sure. for Earth Day, which what? is awesome. They'll Put get a right yellow book. Yeah, there you Put go. It right in here right now. And we're not done with Carol yet. Oh, no, no, no. She's no. going to help us interview one of her favorite mystery writers. We're going to find Find out why he likes to write about cold states like Wisconsin and Minnesota.